Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has two scriptures to accompany it. The first is Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. The next scripture is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Now for the message received on February the 2nd, 2022 from the Lord God. A fine for those who are not yet mine. Although you are well off, you still complain and whine. The worldly ways where you once thrived will be your demise. Whatever situation you devise to invest is no longer wise. The investment's value does not rise, it falls. And false hope of an uprise of the stock is not realized. The wealth you enjoyed is slipping through your fingers and you can't believe your eyes. What a surprise! The one who you thought would stay at the bottom is becoming recognized. Their work is valued, and I am blessing them with my prize, for they have remained righteous and never plotting or schemed as you have devised. They only kept praying and drawing nearer unto me for their hope, for I cannot tell them lies. I give them hope as long as they realize I am on their side, and they should never stray, for once they leave, they cannot find their way back to me, their Savior. Because of the lies, the enemy does hypnotize them. He is their downfall and demise, for he is only in it to see them weep and cry. He thinks he's smart, but his disguise is only a copy of the glory of the Father whose will does survive. Only when they turn back to me do they truly feel alive, for I am the blessed hope, and the way, the truth, and the life is never a compromise! Exclamation point. Stay faithful and true in abiding in the ways of the Father, for he does provide and will lead you along the path to righteousness. In his eyes, the narrow path is the one to take and never forsake others or manipulate their lives, for I see all done in darkness, and you may believe it is hidden, but I am wise to the deceit and lies done at their expense. Repent and turn away from the wicked schemes, for only those deemed worthy will be coming with me. I am your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I want you here with me in paradise, but I will not look away while you live in sin, for I am offering you a way in to be with me and the Father forevermore. Now this is a gift you cannot return, for if you do, you will learn of your fate at the hand of the devil who will torment you at every turn in the lake of fire, and you will not return unto me or the Father. So lesson learned. Change your ways now before my return, and you will be saved, in all capital letters, and my salvation will be your own, a priceless gift, one you will earn on your knees now before I return, for I love you so and do not want any of you to burn in the lake of fire for eternity. So believe on me now, in all capital letters, exclamation point. The time is late, in all capital letters. Do it now and be ready and wait to see me in the clouds and glory abounding. I will be taking those up with me 
and their joy will be resounding, exclamation point, with everlasting love, Jesus the Savior. So, another poem the Lord gave me, and I just thought this was incredible. And it's about the wicked. He's having a plea for you to turn away from your wicked ways and come unto him, because if you don't, the devil's going to steal your soul and take you down to hell with him and torment you forevermore. He wants you to turn away from your ways. And it looks like there's going to be a transfer of wealth from those who scheme and devise to those who are righteous. And they're going to get the wealth and the others, it's going to slip through their fingers. And it's also speaking of how you should not scheme and plot against those that maybe you have something against them. You should, you should not scheme and plot against them. That's wicked. Also, he wants you to turn back to, to him, and that's not a compromise. Stay faithful and true and abiding, always abiding in the ways of the Father. And that he sees all that is done in darkness. You can't keep anything hidden. So if you think you're getting away with something, you're truly not getting away with anything. And if you're not li living a righteous life, then uh, chances are you're not going to be living in paradise with Jesus and the Father forevermore. You're going to go down to the dark place. So this is the message for today. I hope you enjoyed the poem that the Holy Spirit gave me. And I hope you heed the warning and get ready because he's coming back and it says here the time is late do it now be ready and wait to see me in the clouds of glory abounding and your joy will be resounding so turn away from your wicked ways and believe on him because he truly is the way the truth and the life and if you like the message and you feel like it's speaking to, to you, you can relate to it, please leave a comment down in the comment section. If you enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for Jesus' protection from any harm from the enemy over your life. And if you have any questions and or prayer requests, please send them to my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. And I want you to come back to Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life, and he loves you. And may God bless you.